mean pressure expressed in terms of partition function. Consider again the system described in problem 418. The system is in thermal equilibrium with a heat reservoir at the absolute temperature T, but may be arbitrarily complicated. Example, it might be a gas, a liquid, or a solid. For the sake of simplicity, assume that the system is confined within a container in the shape of a rectangular parallel pipe with edge lengths LX, LY, LZ. Show that the arguments used in section 4.8 are generally applicable and establish thus the following very general results. A. Show that the mean force exerted by the system on its right boundary wall can always be expressed in terms of the partition function uh, in this way. So let's talk about this in part A. Now, uh, as we have seen, the force corresponding to uh, the force exerted by a particle is basically related to its energy minus uh, the derivative of the energy of state R with respect to uh, the displacements in the x direction. So remember that minus FR dot uh, DLX the displacement in the x direction which is minus fr dlx i in the i hat direction uh, because they are both in the i hat direction this will be minus fr dlx this is basically work done on the system and that is responsible for uh, changes in its uh, energy so that's d bar w is equal to minus fr dlx so uh, this is the relationship between the energy of the system and its force so this is also a function of energy e sub r so if you want to know the mean force exerted by uh, this uh, system it will be uh, sum over r e to the minus beta e r uh, multiplied by this function of energy divided by the partition function sum over r e to the minus beta e r and remember this comes from the uh, normalization requirement. So it is sum over r, the probability pr, uh, probability of having a state r multiplied by the force corresponding to that state r. So uh, the force as we have seen is minus del er del lx. So basically I see that the mean force is uh, the sum of sum over r all possible states energy e to the minus beta e r energy and then minus the derivative of the energy with respect to displacements lx divided by sum over r e to the minus beta e r which is the partition function now since we know that the partition function is sum over r e to the minus beta e r so if we examine the derivative of the partition function with respect to the displacements del lx we see that because the partition function is a function of energy first i have to take a derivative with respect to energy and then the derivative of the energy with respect to displacements. So this is, uh, first I have to consider the derivative of, with respect to energy of sum over r e to the minus beta e r and then multiply it by del e r del lx. So this will be equal to if you take the derivative with respect to energy you will find that you will get a factor uh, minus beta and then you will have sum over r e to the minus beta er 
uh, and then you will have uh, del er del lx so basically i recognize this as uh, beta times sum over r e to the minus beta er uh, and in parentheses i have the minus del er del lx so you can see that i have operated the minus sign uh, so i've taken the minus sign inside the parentheses so uh, basically since, since this is uh, del z del lx i can see that uh, this term on the right hand side uh, sum over r e to the minus beta er and minus derivative of the energy with respect to lx that is fr is equal to 1 over beta del z del lx so i i go back to my uh, f bar expression so i see that on top i have exactly this one and so at the bottom i have the partition function z and on top i have uh, basically what i have found here 1 over beta del z del lx so uh, so we see that f bar is 1 over beta 1 over z del z del lx so 1 over z would come from the derivative of ln z so this is or this can well be written as 1 over beta del natural logarithm of the partition function with respect to displacements uh, lx so I indeed find the expression suggested in I. In the case of any isotropic system, the function z does not depend on the individual dimensions, but it's merely a function of the volume. Show that, so here we have z as a function of uh, v. Show that this uh, the expression we have obtained in I implies then that the mean pressure exerted on the system can be given as 1 over beta del ln z del v okay so if z the partition function is a function of the volume v rather than individually lx ly and lz then when i calculate the mean force f bar uh, 1 over beta del ln z del lx this will be equal to 1 over beta del ln z del v del v del lx now since v is lx ly and lz this means i have 1 over beta del ln z del v l y l z then the mean pressure exerted by this system will be the mean force exerted on the right wall divided by the cross-sectional area l y l z so this will give me 1 over l y l z multiplied with 1 over beta del ln z del v l y l z so L, Y, L, Zs will cancel and I find that the mean pressure exerted by the system will then be 1 over beta del ln Z del V which is the result suggested in expression uh, II. Okay, so we're considering a system in a rectangular parallel piped uh, container with edge lengths lx ly lz now i'm considering the mean force exerted by the system on its right boundary it is uh, for state r it is f sub r is equal to minus del er del lx 
uh, because the work done by this force minus fr dot dlx is work done on the system. Uh, we need the minus sign because the force is the one exerted by the system. So we need the minus sign to find the work done on the system. And this derivative with respect to LX of the energy is a function of the energy. So if you look at the mean value of a variable uh, F, you have to uh, look at the corresponding values of that F and the probabilities multiplied together, summed over all possible states with a proportionality constant C, which we have shown to be 1 over the partition function. So we see that it is sum over R, all possible states, e to the minus beta ER, ER is the energy of state R, minus del ER del LX, that is the uh, force for corresponding to state R divided by the partition function, and we recognize that what we have in the numerator here uh, can be shown to be 1 over beta del Z del LX. So therefore, we realize that the mean force is 1 over beta del ln z del lx. Now, if the partition function is a function of volume, then we can take its derivative with respect to lx by taking first a derivative with respect to volume and then volume with respect to lx. Since the volume is lx ly lz, that gives ly lz. But ly lz is the cross-sectional area in, on the right wall. So if we divide F bar by the area of the right wall, we obtain the mean pressure exerted by the system, which is 1 over beta del ln z del V.